Hi there friends, this is Grace and welcome to another video. This is going to be my August haul video. So it's going to include the stuff that I had purchased on Tuesday morning, Michael's, um, a little bit in Target and I did some shopping online um, in a Facebook group where I belong to and also my pocket letters that I received this month. So let's get started. Um, for Michaels, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I did um, go through or I did shop their clearance and so I found some neat things. Uh, first of all, um, got to use my 40% coupon on necessities. So this one is a Fiskars um, cutting blade replacement and um, I needed one so I just used my 40% on that and then I got this one at the clearance section oh I ripped up the price tag but I think this came out to 79 cents and it's just a Re recollections butterfly layered sticker I thought it would be cute to add to pocket letters and then I also got a marquee um Heidi Swap marquee tape and so I'm guessing this kind of tape is like a washi and it was $4.99 originally and then I got it for $1.49. Let me see if I can close up. So there you have it. And then another clearance find is these Mambi stickers that has the hand pointing and it was originally $1.99. I got it for $0.99 cents, and I thought it was so cute. I'm not much into vintage and um, kind of um, older type look, but I thought that this one would be really fun even to add to layouts that are about everyday things. So that's that. And then I got this one. This is one of those Recollections, I think it's a Recollections brand. Oh, Craftsmith, sorry. But this is from Michaels and it's just a um, basically kind of a Project Life Pact or pocket letter, no, not pocket letter, pocket page um, pack. Does that make sense? So it has the three by four and then some die cut shapes. It also has the four by six and then it has some stickers. And here in the back is what you get. So all of those things is what you get in the pack. And I believe this is $5 and it was on sale. I want to say $3. Or 250 something in that effect but I just love the the color scheme it's a very neutral so I can add it to my scrapbook pages and I'm always a sucker for well I'm noticing myself being a big sucker for these three by four that have quotes on them so that is that and then um, I got some items just a couple of things from Target this is a gold washi this is from the dollar spot and then this one is the notepad. I thought it was so cute. And this size I think could fit a pocket letter so that's why I got it. Um, and yeah, and they're, they're both a dollar so that's what I got from Target. And then I belong to kind of a um, scrapbook yard sale, I think that's what it's called. Scrapbook yard sale Facebook group. And I belong to a few actually. And so um, there was this one lady, she was selling a lot of her chic tags. Now I'm not, like I'm not, I mean I love, I like chic tags, but the brand, but I'm not like, you know, a big fan of it. But the thing that draw me to this, and so I got all these items. You got the rub -ons, you have wood veneers, and these are the stuff that you get in it. And I believe all of them is brand new stuff or slightly used. And then they have uh, two by two cards. They have these little die cuts. Let's see if I can close up. All right, I think that works. And then this one tags and then some school ones so she was selling a lot of chic tags i chic tags items i can't talk today but those are some of the things and i've used the chic tags before and so and all of these were 13 dollars sh with shipping included so i thought that was a good deal but 
The main thing that I really wanted is, and if you've been watching my um, haul videos in my pr videos in the past, you know that I don't have a lot of um, flare badges, and I like them, and I just don't. I haven't been hoarding them. I've been using them as as I get them. So when I saw this, it looks so cute. Let me see if I can close up. It's gonna let me anyways. So look at all that cute designs on there. So that this is, I know it's kind of crazy. I mean, I got a lot of really cute stuff, but this one was really what I wanted to get. And um, so I got this with all the other die cuts for 13, including shipping. I thought that was a good deal. So my problem now with this is I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I really, I just really love, I just really love it. So I don't know. Have you ever felt that where you just wanna hoard it just because it's so pretty? So anyways, those are my items that I purchased online. And then here are my pocket letters. But before I go there, I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got from Tuesday morning. So, um, I got a few things. First thing is this um, stencil kit from Folk Art, and it's called Handmade Char Charlotte. And this is what you get, the stencils that you get. So you get the numbers, the letters, this kind of raindrop one, So there's a raindrop, there's the big kind of hexagons, and then the chevron, that, and arrows. I mean, no, not arrows, triangles and dots. And this is not, this is the, I'm going to say older version of stencils where you have that cardboard. Let me open it up. So it's not the plastic one where it's easy to clean, but if you've seen me before, so you're not gonna be able to see the, the designs and I have to pop it out of there, but that's fine with me. But if you've seen one of my videos before, I have this like cardstock that it just has lots of stars and I use it as my stencil. And so I figured I can use this too as that. And, and the biggest thing that draw me to this, and you guys kind of know I'm a little bit of a cheapskate, but, but it is what it is. <laughs> so it's $1.99 for this whole pack and I get how many stencils were there at least at least eight stencils so original is $5.99 and I got it for $1.99 and of course the projects that they're showing here is mainly fabric projects that you can use this for but we all know that we can use this for our paper crafting so I got that one and then I got this thickers letters I don't normally grab thickers, but um, this font was just really cute. It's uh, kind of an emerald green, and it's $1.99 from $4.99, and it's from American Crafts. So I got that one, and then I got this um, Polaroid set or picture frame set from Pebbles, and it is originally $4.99. I got it for $1.49. And then these are the ones that are included. Now at first I kind of didn't want it because it it did have those those tags on there, but I figured if I don't want the tag, I can just take it off and then you know maybe cover up the hole. But I thought it was really nice color. And then I got the do-it-yourself arrows for 99 cents. This is cork. And then I got DIY shop the glittered hearts. 99 cents. I was thinking of getting another pack just because they're only 99, but I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm gonna hold off on buying too many things. Um, washi, this is just a um, kind of a maroon, no, more of a brown solid color washi, and I don't have a lot of solid colors, so I thought that would be nice, and it's only 99 cents. And then this one is for KI Memories. I didn't know that KI Memories is under the umbrella of Hampton Arts, but that's kind of interesting to know. Anyways, um, it's just glittered. It's a kind of a fuchsia pink 
color and it's just letters and I am a sucker for um, those script fonts lately because I think they add a really cute um, movement to my titles and so I got this and it didn't actually have a tag and so when I went over to the register and I said it didn't have a tag and they said we'll do it for 99 cents so I got it for 99 cents there you go and then um, I got this whole paper uh, paper pack it's basic gray capture and it is originally $14.99 I get I got it for $2.99 and um, at first, um, I was thinking, what am I going to do with these 25 pieces of paper with the bubble speech? And then I turned it over, and it has this really pretty um, pink dot paper. And I'm a sucker for these kinds of graphic type of paper. So I said, you know what, we'll just go get it. And then the last one that I want to share is the Chimel line. Um, this is a 48 paper pack. 12 by 12 pack. That's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, it's originally $19.99. I got it for $6.99. And um, I was torn between this this one or a an Amy Tangerine paper pack. I can't buy them all. So I just was really thinking which one do I like the most. And when I flipped through this, um, a lot of the papers that I had gotten recently are more kind of... Uh, I don't want to say pastel, but on a lighter hue or um, lighter note is the color scheme of the papers that I'm getting. And this one is pretty bold when I was flipping through it. So it has all that pinks and blues and then it has these bold colors on there. And so I figured I'm going to go with this just because... Um, I have some of the other ones already. So that is that. So those are all my Tuesday morning. And then we'll go on to their pocket letters. So um, this pocket letter from um, a new friend named Alice. She, we were um, swapping for a Christmas themed one. And I had to take out all of her stuff because um, when it was mailed and it came to me, it was kind of all falling apart. Um, I don't think it's Alice's fault. It's just that that's just the way it was. So you can't really see how pretty she had put this together, but um, she had so sweetly gave me um, this card. And then also she wrote me a really nice handwritten letter. And of course it's, I'm not going to read it to you, but she was very kind to take the time to write me and um, kind of tell me a little bit about herself. And I, that's one of the things that I love about pocket letters is that people share a little bit about themselves um, in these pockets. And then here is my pink themed one from a new friend, Molly Young. We were um, swapping for the theme was White Elephant. And so she made me a really pink or a, a pink themed um, pocket letter and so it has all these cute things in there I love the sequence and um, all that and then she covered them with gold washi which was super cute and then there's uh, some other little bits in here so of course I'm going to take this apart and organize all the items that I got and and then maybe hopefully put them in my next paper crafting project. So there is my haul for August. Um, I am going to try, I don't know if I'm, why am I saying this out loud, but I guess so that I'll be accountable for it. But I am going to try not to purchase anything in the month of September. And the reason being is because it's been a long, long time. I would say it's been almost like nine years that I've been to a scrapbook expo. And this year I said that I was going to go to the Denver Expo in the uh, first week of October. So 
Um, with that being said, I am going to try to save up my money so I can have fun and do my shopping in the expo. And of course, I'm going to share with you what I got. But um, for the meantime, this is what I've got. Um, I purchased and the things that I received in the month of August. And I hope this helped you with figuring out what you want to go get out there in those stores. And I will see you when I see you. Bye, guys. Thank you.